time I got this one out. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How you doing? So, I meant to get this all cut up and uploaded shortly after the Raichu run that we did, but ya boy's a goof! And didn't do that. So here we are now. Um, also, side note, don't worry. I've been a little, been busy recently, so I haven't been able to get the Pearl playthrough done, but we're getting there. So don't mind me, I'm just naming my rival Chick after my boy Chick Nonsense in, on Twitch. So go follow him too, by the way. So anyway, Starmie. It is interesting since he doesn't have a level up set considering stone evolution. But, you know, that speed and special are going to carry us through a lot of things. And it, and it kind of makes Brock very trivial, which you'll see here in a minute. But... The notable moves that we're probably going to rock, because our final move set is on the screen. We do start with Water Gun, which is nice, considering that it's a rock gym that we start against. And yes, I replaced Squirtle with Starmie for... because... Blah, 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 because reasons. <laughs> Obviously, it gives him Bulbasaur, which is the hardest for us to fight. But one thing I probably could have done, and I thought about possibly having Body Slam on as a physical move. But my problem with that being, I don't recall if Starmie got Body Slam in Gen 1. Which, you know, I'm in process of looking it up before it gets to the next clip here. Okay, he did not get Body Slam in Gen 1, so... That's why I skipped it, but later on, which you'll see. But... Starmie just rips through the early game, as you're seeing here. I'm pretty much, for the most part, of this run, that I'm aware of anyway, I am on minimum battles. So you're gonna see me going to Brock here right now, I think at level 6. It was either 6 or 7, I don't remember. Okay, it's level 6. And it's just like, bang, crit water gun, get up out of here, Brock. We level up. Ooh, screech, not fun. Ooh, I don't know if it was a low roll or anything, but it ends up being a two shot on Brock's Onyx to seal the deal on the boulder badge. Now, I did take the Helix Fossil, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Because, you know, if you were going to ask, comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Shout out MDB. Anyway, so I decided to try to... I did a few attempts on Misty and Rival 2, but they just kept bodying me, man. Like, I was getting my shit pushed in by both Rival 2 and Misty. So here's the winning attempt on Rival 2. Got, it's a four shot with Water Gun at this level. I did have a rare candy in a bag, but I did never use it. So here I set up, I think that is three Hardens at that point. Abra is still a two shot, even with, you know, some badge boosting from the Boulder Badge. Water Gun's a crit on the Rattata, so. Get up out of here, Junior. So, we're on to the Bulbasaur. And as long as he doesn't, like, Vine Whip me, we're fine. And which he didn't. All he did was use Leech Seed that battle. So, I will take that. So, anyway, we are moving on to the Misty fight. I... I did get beat up by Misty quite a bit after that as well. So I end up audibling to do Rival 3 before before uh, Misty. 
Oh, by the way, go follow my boy Lambo Lotta. All his stuff is gonna be in the description for you. This is his song, Everyday Tings. So, so, three, two, two water guns. The second one being a crit takes down the Pidgeotto. And then we get into a tackle war with the Raticate here. And that's a four shot. I probably could have water gunned, but that's fine. As tackle will be a three shot on Kadabra because he didn't attack me. We we added Thunder Wave here for a little while. And then the Ivysaur literally just used Leech Seed this entire fight. Yeah, like, I ended up re-watching all these fights, too. Because, you know, I'm very far behind on things. So here we go, going into... We get cut and all that. And then we're going to get out, dig back to Cerulean. Because, you know, I don't want to heal in Vermilion. It's, it's going to be a time save later down the road. When we're going between Cerulean and Rock Tunnel. So, I'm going to head over here. For If you've never played Gen 1 before... You can, in some locations, you can dig in buildings to get back to your previous Pokemon Center. In the Pokemon Fan Club there where you get the bike voucher, you can do just that. And now, the winning run on Misty is here. You, Misty beat me down so much before we went and did Rival 3. So, on the Staryu, we're going to Thunder Wave here. And I... And then it's tackle time. There's the X defend. And then Star U tackles, but we tackle back. Finally knocking it out. Now on Starmie, we're going to Thunder Wave again. I'm going to... Ooh, we got a crit tackle on the first shot. And then it's just tackle city. You see an X defend for Misty. I think we got a tackle miss. She never went for, like, Bubble Beam or anything in this fight. It was all tackles from the Starmie and the X defend, so... That worked out. And surprisingly, Misty gave me more trouble than Lieutenant Surge did. Which you'll see here in just a minute. Well, yes, Surge did take me a few attempts to do. But it was a lot easier than Misty was. So Pikachu was a one-shot. It was a two-shot on Voltorb. We did in the earlier attempts that you didn't see. We ended up critting him, so the first two were one-shots, but we got lucky with a crit right on the last hit there on the Raichu, so bang, we defeat Lieutenant Surge from here, and we're going to add Thunderbolt to our moveset here, because that's going to be pivotal later down the road, especially against Lorelei, so... And anytime you run into a water onyx. So, we're going to go in here, and now we're also going to put Ice Beam on the set. And we do add Psychic to the set later on as well. So, our move set going forward will be Psychic, Ice Beam, Surf, and Thunderbolt. But Ice Beam had, was very clutch for us this run. And not just for, you know, being a good move. But you'll see later in our first match with Giovanni. Because in this run, I... Oh, by the way, it's Bubble Beam one shots on the first two. Then I think it's two on Kang. But... Oh, it's a three shot. I'm sorry. Ice Beam, with that 10% chance to freeze, came in clutch. And what I decided to do here is I decided to do all the storyline before doing Erica, So I went from Giovanni to Rival 4, clear out the Pokemon Tower as you normally do, but here is the Rival 4. And then Pidgeotto's out. Why? I, I, I Ice Beamed when I could have Thunderbolted, but either way, both are super effective. And then Water Onyx is one shot. Growlithe will go down to one shot to a Bubble Beam. Kadabra, now, here's where I wish I would have put a physical move on Starmie, is in the chance, 
in the encounters with Cadaveras and Alakazams later on. So, anyway, we clear out the tower, and then we go in, right ahead over to Rival Fievel. Well, I wasn't kidding when we decided to do all the story stuff in a row before the final five gyms. So, on Pidgeot, it's a, he goes for Whirlwind, so one Ice Beam, one Thunderbolt takes him out. Water Onyx is a one shot. Well, that was a crit, but he's still one shot. Bubble Meme on the Growly is actually a two shot here. That might have been a one hit KO range, but on the Alakazam, he just uses a couple of confusions. He disables Ice Beam, hits the Bubble Beam. Now, now we have the Venusaur. We, this is at the point we now have Psychic, Leech Seed, good. We didn't see a Vine Whip or even worse, Razor Leaf at that point. So, I don't remember what Rival Fievel's movesets are. It's been a while since I've done a Gen 1 run, up until recently, so. And now we're on Giovanni 2, where it goes exactly how you think a Giovanni fight would. One shot the Nina Reno, two shot the Kang. And then it should be a one shot on Rhyhorn. And I think it's a two shot on Nido Queen, if I recall. Yep, it's a two shot. Because again, I'm watching some of these fights right along with you guys as I'm doing the voiceover here. But there we go. Dig out his self. Go. But then we're gonna go over to Erica here. And it's as easy as you think. I did have a botch where I had to fight Erica again. Because I, I ended up... I was pretty much on minimum battles at this point. I do end up strafing away from minimum battles, but... But for whatever reason, I ran into a battle midway and restarted and I last saved after Rival Fievel so I had to do Giovanni 2 and Erica again oh yeah we're halfway through Koga now it, it was literally like no sweat off my back the Muck and the Weezing were two shots both coughings were one shot Koga was literally minuscule in this endeavor but then I decided to go to Blaine before Sabrina so, the Growly is a one shot. Ponyta, one shot. Rapidash, I think, is a one shot, and it is. Yes. And Arcanine ends up being a two hit, but it was easier for me to do Blaine and get the ability to boost special off the badge boost glitch if I needed it, rather than fighting Sabrina before Blaine. So here's the Sabrina fight, and here's where those Ice Beam clutch ups are gonna come into play here. So it's two Ice Beams on Kadabra, a sur two Surfs on Mr. Mime. I realize I could have just surfed here too. Venomoth is gonna go down to a singular Psychic, and then the Alakazam. And here's where I surf, he recovered. Surf, recover. All Alakazam did during this fight. Is is recover? I'm starting to run the ice memes at this point, and then this happens. The clutch freeze on the Alakazam seals the deal against Sabrina. But, oh man, that freeze was very clutch. Because if he would have kept recovering, then my move was going to be to go to Thunderbolt and try to get the Paralyze and hope for Paralyze turns. So, all right. So now the final Giovanni fight for the eighth badge, and then it's it's Giovanni. It goes exactly how you think it went. That's two one shots right there. And then out comes the Nido Queen, which is a one shot with Surf. Nino King, one shot as well, and then out comes the Rhydon, and then we hit the Surf, 
And then Giovanni's down. And now we're on to rival six. And rival six did give me a couple of issues. I had to battle him a couple of times, but... But in the winning run, you will see a massive clutch up. Which we'll get to here in just a second. So... We're, we have the Pidgeot here. And it's two, two Ice Beams takes the Pidgeot down. Now, Rhyhorn is going to be a one-shot with Surf. And he's still... And then Gyarados is a one-shot with Thunderbolt. Growly is going to be a one-shot with Surf. And then the Alakazam again. I'm worried that he's just going to recover Stall Me again. We get a freeze off of Ice Beam once again. So, Ice Beam freezes, clutching up in this battle. Now we have the Venusaur and... How about two freezes in a row? <laughs> oh, man. That was just absolutely phenomenal. So we're on to the final five matchups. And here is the final winning run. So, a lot of the farthest I got up until this point was Lance's Dragonite. And he blew me out of the water, metaphorically, with a Hyper Beam. So, Dugong was a three hit. Cloyster is a two shot with Thunderbolt. Slowbro is also a two shot with Wonderbolt. Wonderbolt? Thunderbolt! What am I talking about? And then Jinx is a two shot with Surf. And, and the second one was a crit. But now we have the Lapras, which that is a crit. Two crits in a row on the Lapras, making it a two shot. But it was a three shot without crits, so. And I have five rare candies there. I never ended up actually using them. And in every attempt against Bruno, that happened. He's literally a walk in the park. So it's one shot city here. Surf on the Onyx, one. Hitmonchan goes down. I actually surfed here where I normally psychic, but. And Hitmonlee was a one shot with Surf as well, as was Onyx 2. And now the Machamp, I hit Surf on. Because I just brute forced him with Surf, didn't take a single point of damage. Plus, he leered me, which gave me the special badge boost, so. Alright, now we have Agatha. And Agatha Lottery, you know. You never know what you're gonna get. We get a Nightshade from the Gengar, but he is. Gengar is a two hit. Then we get. Then we're gonna Ice Beam the Golbat, which got a freeze again. We're clutching up with Ice Beam freezes in this run. A Haunter is going to be a two retroactive super potion first, but it's a two shot on Haunter with Psychic. Our box a one hit. Now we have Gengar again, who's going to be a two shot. He does get Confuse Ray off, but we break through because we bad bitches like that. And now it is on the Lance once more. We are going to pop an elixir here too, because you know. Ice Beam points while it's a great move, you know, you have, you have limited points there. So, now we are up against Lance. So, increasingly, interestingly, his Water Onyx is not a one-shot with Thunderbolt, but it one-shots on the crit, so technically a two-hit. And then Ice Beam is going to knock out, or not knock out the Dragonary. Ends up getting in uh, Hyper Potion range. Hyper Beams me before he goes down. And then Ice Beam, Hyper Potion again. And then a Dragon Rage now. I'm starting to get a little nervous here. In previous attempts, I did outspeed the Aerodactyl, but this time I didn't. Well, you left me with 6 HP, a one-shot with Surf. Hyper Potion's the Dragonite. And then a crit takes it out. So now... This is going to be our first attempt against Jick, or Blue, however you want to refer to him as. Full Restore Up, 
Managed to get through that with six hit points. And this is our first attempt at the champion fight in our entire run so far. We got bopped every time, like I said earlier, we only got up to Lance's Dragonite once before this run. So, so Ice Beam Thunderbolt takes out the Pidgeot because he went for Sky Attack. And then we get the Thunderbolt onto Alexam. He uses Reflect there. We got two. It takes three Thunderbolts to take. I excuse me four, three Thunderbolts and a Surf to take out Alakazam right on, just as you think it would be. One shot would Surf Gyarados, the Water Onyx. Lances didn't go down in a one shot, but Blues did. So we're on to the Arcanine, a Crit Water, a Crit, a Crit Surf. I'm sorry. We hit the Psychic, get the Special Drop. He hits the Mega Drain, which hurts, but a second Psychic finishes the fight. And Starmie can wear the belt as Kanto's champion. This run was definitely interesting. Like, I had a lot harder of a time with Misty and Rival 2 than I expected. I knew Rival... I uh, not Rival. I knew Surge was going to give me issues. And I did consider doing the story and Erica before Surge. But then but I just did Surge first anyway. And weirdly enough, the trainer that's just before the like right the first trainer you face on the way to Rock Tunnel, she gave me issues, but thank you all for checking out the video today if you liked it leave a like comment subscribe and tell me what mod would you like to see in another solo run i love doing these runs i find them very fun but we're gonna let lambo take us out good day goodbye good night